Hi, uh, hello, this is Shankar and I want to explain to you uh, by uh, means of the planetary combinations which are there today or what is going to be there for the next week and also the impact of planets. We have a peculiar situation where Sun, Mercury and Saturn are in Capricorn. Capricorn, those, the severity will be felt more with people who are having these planets in Capricorn itself or in the 10th house. Now Capricorn is a place where Mars gets exalted and Jupiter gets debilitated. It is the very own house of Saturn. It is actually very own house of Saturn. So here you would see the Saturn Surya were in close conjunction the last 15-20 days. You would have seen that that uh, uh, you had problems with your bosses, with work, with superiors, with government. These kinds of things would have been a matter of tension more uh, with those cases where I've explained to you above. But uh, with the sun moving away from Saturn now, things would get better. Mercury is still going, is approaching Saturn. So whenever Mercury approaches Saturn, there would be division of work. There would be division of property. Mm, there would be division of uh, uh, some uh, kind of uh, labor which is there. So basically, uh, they, you could expect some division of work which is, hap which is going to happen to you um, in terms of uh, the next uh, one month uh, which is there because uh, Mercury divides and Mercury is a karmic planet which tells you that you have to divide. So those who are having Mercury in Capricorn um, uh, at the moment uh, and Saturn transiting over it, you would see that uh, there will be a division in your in your work, in your money, um, issues with uh, with your uh, first cousins, sisters, these kinds of things would come up in the next one month because of, and Mercury again, as I told you, when it goes over Saturn, uh, it will it will put forth things before you, and then finally you have to decide of what's going to happen and what's not going to happen. Venus, Mars in uh, Sagittarius is good. Sagittarius is a long-term goal. So in terms of relationships, in terms of marriage, in terms of your, um, in terms of buying luxurious things, uh, you would set uh, long-term goals and objectives which would be there. Uh, moon at the moment uh, is uh, with the uh, Rahu, which of course gives a little bit of anxiety to people. This will be the next one, one and a half day. Uh, you would, some non-clarity of thought will be there, uh, which is going to happen. And Jupiter in Aquarius, I mean, uh, and people who have Jupiter in Aquarius, Aquarius is a sign which will give a kind of a, will, will, will give you something which, you know, ultimately, you may not be very happy with it because Jupiter, uh, Aquarius is a sign which is governed by um, Saturn and Rahu. So Rahu being there, it could suddenly give you something and then either take it from you or you get it and you're not happy with it. So uh, this is what uh, I wanted to tell you about the trans uh, the placements of planet. But my major thrust was to explain you the combination of uh, Mercury, Saturn and Sun together in Capricorn. So those who have this combination in Capricorn, you can analyze it. And either if you have Sun there in your natal, in your Capricorn or in a 10th house and Saturn transiting over there, issues with authorities, uh, they will start reducing, but would be there. And similarly, those who have Mercury in uh, uh, Capricorn or in the 10th house, uh, would have, uh, I would feel, have a division of labor, division of money, um, ch change doing paperwork, uh, changes in paperwork, some sudden issues coming up uh, in your profession, uh, changes in the profession. Uh, those dealing with finance uh, or in the financial world should be very careful. That is for those who have Mercury in uh, Capricorn or uh, Mercury in Capricorn and Saturn transiting over it. So that is uh, going to happen also you have to take the house into consideration that will uh, color it more. But this is a generic, uh, I mean, in, in, a, in a video you can't explain uh, the details of everything. But uh, but this would be, this is a pointer because, because uh, I mean, you can do plan, uh, you can do predictions in a lot of ways. So this is one of the ways of Bhrigu uh, Nandinari, which I which I do practice and uh, this is what I wanted to explain you Saturn Mercury and Sun Saturn remember whenever in Capricorn will make you work very hard will 
uh, will will be a planet which is a karmic planet uh, which uh, Saturn with Mercury though they are friends but it will lead to some unexpected changes division of labor division of property division of money and Saturn whenever is with the Sun it will lead to issues with authority it would lead issues with uh, the seniors in the family and that is only when Saturn is in Capricorn Saturn in Capricorn is a karmic planet which where it is it is home house so it will make you work hard it will make you think hard and it will give you the results of what you've done in the past so that's it thanks and uh, bye for now not a very good period for everybody when Saturn is in Capricorn for uh, issues of uh, Mm, you know where uh, where uh, where broad wisdom is required. Jupiter is a planet that gives you broad wisdom. You intuitionally feel you should do this. Don't do that. Uh, go into the details. The devil will lie in the details. Any intuition, any kind of wisdom which you have carried, any kind of feeling which you have, uh, you know, be a little cautious with that. That may not work in any sphere of life, maybe business or profession. Till the time Saturn is in Capricorn, uh, till about next month. Till April, I mean, it's there. So be careful in that. So don't don't rely on your past, on your wisdom, on your um, readings, on the broad feeling you get, on the intuitive feeling you get. Because Saturn says that is not me. I, I I want to go into the details. I want you to work hard. I want you to use your legs, and then only I will give you the result. Thanks and bye for now.